Hello everybody, my name is Mike Dietrich and today I will guide you through a 12 minute demo video about how to upgrade two databases with the auto upgrade tool to Oracle Database 19C and we will plug in these two databases into a multi-tenant container database and that all in one pass with no interaction I will show you how you monitor the progress of the tool and how to tweak certain settings and explain the entire pass. So hope you enjoyed that. And now let me start with the demo. For this demo, we will use the auto upgrade tool. And this is the recommended and by far most easiest way to upgrade your databases. And also, if needed, just plug them into a pre-created container database. So let me show you quickly how the tool works before we go into the demo and watch the tool live in action. So at first, you always should download the most recent version from this MyOracle support node. The reason why you should download it is very simple. Uh, we have a very quick refresh cycle and you get always the newest, always the most recent version via this MyOracle support node. When you would like to see what we added, what we improved or which issues we fixed, scroll down to the end of the node. There's always a change log, and the change log tells you from each version what has been done or changed. Plus, in addition, should it be necessary, there are also the two previous versions of the tool available via download from this node at the bottom of the node. Now, let me show you how the tool works. So here you have your databases, and you would like to upgrade one or many databases. So you grab the tool, the auto upgrade tool from this MOS node. It's just two megabyte in size. So really a small, tiny little tool. And the only work you have to do right now is you let the tool generate a config file and you edit this config file based on your needs. And I will show you some of the most important options in the demo. Once you have the config file, and it can contain as many databases as you want. You push the button and you upgrade your databases. This ideally should be Oracle Database 19C, but just in case your project is already ongoing or your operating system doesn't allow you to go to 19C right now, you can always upgrade also to Oracle 18C or 12.201 if needed. Just make sure you have at least the January 2019 release updates or any newer release updates in your future homes installed. But the tool can do much more. When you tell the tool, it will also plug in these databases once they are upgraded into pre-created CDBs. That works also for 12.2, 18, and of course for 19C. And now the tool is in a black box. No worries with that. First of all, the tool has a job console, so you can monitor what the tool is doing. And even more important, the tool generates a big amount of log files. So besides the typical log files and upgrade writes for each worker and for the patching cycles, the tool also adds log information for the auto upgrade tool itself, but more important for each phase the tool does from pre-checks to drain to upgrade to post upgrade, everything is covered in log files and not only in text file, but also in JSON format. So now let me show you the tool live in action and I will guide you through the demo where we do exactly this here with two databases, DB12 and FTX12201 uh, and an 11204 database. Both will be upgraded and then plugged in to a pre-created container database. Enjoy. Let me guide you now to a 12 minute demo for the auto upgrade tool. And at first, you please always should check that you use the most recent version of auto upgrade. This is done by the version command. So you see it's a production drop. It's from end of April 2020 at version 99.0. And while I record this, this is the most recent version. Then I prepared already a config file. And my config file will be used for upgrading two databases. It has a global part at first and then DB12. DB name is the DB unique name, then the SID is also DB12. And I would like to plug it in as a new PDB. 
So I specify target CDB, CDB2, and you need to pre-create this one. I would like to rename my database also to PDB DB12. And if I would like to copy my database, which I think is the more safer way, then I use this target PDB copy parameter. And this will now use the copy option. If you avoid that parameter, if you don't use it, there will be no copy. So the files will be in place. Now let me check my target CDB, the 1970. It has no PDBs here. It's up, it's running. Okay, that looks good. Best practice is always when we use the auto upgrade that at first you do an analyze run. So I call auto upgrade with the config file I showed you. And I would use mode analyze. And this will now check my databases. Usually that command goes very quickly. So you see two jobs, 100 and 101 for the two databases. And while I'm talking, the job 100 already completed. Now let me see what the second one is doing, 101. And here both are fine. So jobs successfully finished in both cases. This is good because that means my databases can be upgraded. Now let me show you something in the log file tree. Each database has its own log file and you see under DB12 there's the log tree 101 for the job number and there's a pre-checks subdirectory. And in that pre-checks subdirectory we will find an HTML file. Let me open this HTML file with Firefox here. And you will see in that HTML file that we document all the checks we've done. So recommended pre-checks and if it says fix ups available, yes. That means we, the tool, will fix that. And no worry, even if it says fix up available, no. Often, this is just for information. There is nothing to fix. We just give you an information and there is no fix up needed here. So I quickly browse through the file and there is no error. An error is something you need to pay attention. And this looks all good. Post fix up starts, everything fine. And believe me, the same is the case for the FTX database, but I don't want to repeat that exercise for the second database. Let me now invoke the deploy mode. And deploy means we will repeat the analyze and then we will fix up and afterwards upgrade. So let me check the jobs, LSJ. Now you see that the job numbers increased. So the previous logs will be all kept. They don't get overwritten. We have now 101, uh, 102 and 103. The DB upgrade stage for the FTX database shows us that the database is already in upgrade mode. I repeat that command and 10 minutes later you will see that we are now at 21% and 14%. Let me give you more information with status minus job 102. So you see the command on top of the screen and the FTX database is upgrading here, runs since 11 minutes at 21% and let me repeat that for the DB12 database as well. So status minus job 103, it's at 14%, seven minutes into the upgrade. Let me show you now that the upgrade is really progressing. And I go to the log tree again. In this case, I have to go up at first because we have a new job number. Job number is 103. And in that job number three, I will find now several subdirectories. And one is DB upgrade, which is the most important one because it holds all the upgrade logs. Let me show you that here. So in this case, we see four upgrade logs. So each worker has one. And I just take tail quickly one of these logs. And to show you, you see the timestamp maybe flipping and going forward. So the upgrade is really running. There is progress in that case. And this is just an extra check. You don't have to tailor files usually, but I would like to show you that there's simply something going on in the background. So you can monitor if you want to all the upgrades also by just tailing the log files. So four workers and the FTX database in parallel gets also upgraded with four workers. So let me go back to the console and repeat the command. Now, both databases are at 21%. Now at 32% and 23 and nine minutes later, we are far, far into the upgrade. 
91% for FTX and 41 for DB12. Difference here is the number of installed components, so the component part takes a little bit longer in the case. Let me go forward another 12 minutes. Now the upgrade is finished, both databases are in the compile phase already. Let me show where they are. So status minus job 102. You see that 197 objects are remaining for compilation in FTX. And I do the same exercise for DB12, so it's 27 objects remaining. So both databases are almost done. Repeat the command again. And now we are in the post fix ups and post checks. So after the upgrade, we run checks again, and then we fix up things which need to be fixed after the upgrades. Mainly, and I would like to show you this as well, the recreation of the dictionary and the fixed object statistics. So let me show you that. Status minus job 102. <clears throat> and you see FTX has finished post dictionary stats, is at the moment at post fixed object stats. So that looks okay. Quick check for the other database, status minus job 103. And now we have entered already a new stage and the DB12 database is now in the conversion stage. It is executing the describe. That means the XML file has been created and you see it also on top of the screen executing describe and it tells us where the XML file is. And soon after both databases are in that stage. Now after a little bit while, uh, both databases will run the non-CDB to PDB script. And it tells you that under additional information here. And we see also that we are two minutes into that conversion step. That script can take a little bit depending on the size of your dictionary number of objects. And of course we lock that as well. So let me go up in the tree and there's now a new directory called non-CDB to PDB. And in that I find the log files from this run. So again, I can tail here and we won't see much because the system at this point is so heavily utilized with both scripts running in parallel that there is not much progress, at least not on the screen. Of course there is progress. Let me show you that for the FTX database as well. So I go into 1023, non-CDB to PDB, also log files, and I tail also the log from the non-CDB to PDB run, and it's running as well. Both do force three compilations, so it may take a bit, and if your system is a little bit undersized like mine here, this can take a while. But it's progressing. It's going forward. <clears throat> so I check after a while again, status minus job, one of three. Now we are seven minutes into the conversion for the DB12 database. Both are running, both executing the non-CDB to PDB script. Another LSJ command. You see, I'm impatient. I want to see progress, I'm going forward. Now we are 14 minutes into it, it's still running, but I promise we are almost done. We are very close to the completion. Just to make sure that something is going on. File is there. Again, another check. Of course, the auto upgrade itself is writing information here as well. So this is the auto upgrade lock. And the tool itself writes a lot of lock information in addition. So just in case something is not going well, we will find out with the locks. And of course, Oracle support will find out as well. So the tool, and this is really important for us, is not a black box. We tell you everything going on, nothing is hidden. And of course, as you saw from the slides before already, you can easily zip that information together in case it needs to be transferred to support. Okay, back to the command line, to the job console. 
Now the chop 103 completed, that looks good. That means the database should be upgraded to 19.7 and plugged in already. And quickly after also FTX completed, so both jobs completed successfully. Now let me double check here and let me log in to my CDB. Still I'm connected here, show the PDBs. And really they are both open, read, write, unrestricted under new names because I defined for both new names. And final check, did the auto upgrade really use the copy or secretly do that in place? So let me go to my Aura data destination, DB12 database, the original location. So the files are still kept just in case. And let me go to the CDB2. And there, there are subdirectories now PDB DB12 and PDB FTX. So I'll go into the first one. This is the new location for the files being moved over. So everything is good and operation has been successfully completed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon in one of our workshops or in our webinars. Have a good time. Thanks and bye-bye.